today we are going to learn a new uh, login UI design in Xamarin. So um, these are the three login pages, which is simple. This is uh, more uh, attractive, and this is uh, I have created new design for Xamarin uh, login page. Uh, I have also created uh, login uh, UI design in previous video uh, which is uh, this so I will share this link uh, if you want to watch this uh, video please watch this video uh, uh, from this uh, given link I will share this link in description box uh, those who don't know uh, that I want to tell them that uh, uh, this is blog where you can uh, see all the code that I created a video uh, in YouTube. So you can copy code from this blog. Today we are going to learn this UI design. So you can copy this code from this link. I will share this link. Here are all the uh, UI designs that I explained in uh, YouTube. So you can go through this. So let's begin. First, we will start with uh, this page. This page is very simple. This is uh, a label for welcome back. This is another label. I'll use the main grid. First, this is the uh, box view. As I want to show gap here, so I added box view of height 100. Then this is uh, uh, label. This is entry box. After that, uh, I have used box view to show the space. I have set height uh, in the uh, row definition. You can't set the height in the box view. It will not uh, uh, set as you want so always set uh, uh, row height for box view in row definition only then this is the button this is button and corner radius is 20 background color and text color is equal to 1 by default it is white then after that uh, I have set label which I have set uh, This is the label and uh, this is are the images you can uh, use a link or you can uh, save in the project and use that part of the project and set aspect dot fit so it will uh, stress the image in the given height and width so these are the four images i have uh, added in stack layout and orientation is horizontal after that text the label for forget password and button for registration we will look for another UI this is also very simple I just take a grid add image after that the image add a frame um, frame uh, i have already so, uh, this is frame i have set margin uh, for uh, um, because i have already uh, i have not set here padding so i have set uh, margin for um, left and right uh, this is means left right and this means top bottom so it will take 30 30 and 20 20 okay Up in frame i have added grid grid is uh, label label uh, this is entry box uh, 
this is placeholder and set margin for top this this is top this is left top this is this is right top sorry sorry this is left top right and bottom after that entry this is the password text box so i set x password is equal to true then button for login label for forget password and label for registration now we will see next ui design this is a little complex so try to understand this Uh, this is grid. I had it. Uh, this is path. Okay. I have get path from here. I will show you how I draw the path. Just uh, take this rectangle, click in the middle, and stretch. Stretch. So this is our first part. Another part. This is another part. I have used two parts. This is first part. This is second part. Okay. Uh, uh, in first row, I have added part. On uh, in the same row, I added grid. So it will show on the path. Path means shape. This is label. Okay. Then this is also label. This is label. This is entry box. This is label. And this is entry box and this is button. Uh, set horizontal uh, option is equal to start. So it will take uh, uh, the width you have set. If you take start and expand, then it will the bit request will not work. Okay, then letter after the grid at second part. Okay. At second part, set the part by using margin. And what space you have to set? So set you can set this by using margin. Okay. In the path, I have added button. Now you get this space. So I have to set this image in the space. So click is that. This is the first row, which will end here only. Okay. So this is below the first row of this. Try to understand this. This is little complex. In this and or in all these images is added in the frame. So I have set the margin for all the frame. So this is left. I have set ten. Okay, and two thirty five means. This will end. This row will end here only. So I set top to thirty five and bottom because I have set bottom minus fifty because frame will take uh, uh, height equal to uh, means maximum length of the. Uh, It uh, means the uh, height request does not work in for frame, so I have set bottom. Next, I have set left left for this LinkedIn icon. Okay, then top for top for B. 
this linkedin so it will move up and if this is minus 50 this is 30 means i if i have said 30 means it will move up okay remember top will be smaller 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 bottom will be greater 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 so it will move up height means it will take uh, uh, top means from button to this so it is 230 from button to this 100 i'm sorry 150 and then from button to this this is 60 and top, left is 190 bottom is 0 oh, sorry left is 0 bottom is 120 it will take till this so i have to push up it will stretch then if i does not use this bottom and it will take frame as a this this so i want to show in uh, round shape so i have set this bottom value same for here if you did not understand this then let me know in the comment section i will create video for this so you can uh, understand very well okay and and this is register button in the another video you can copy all this code from the blog From this blog, I will share this link. I hope you understand this video. Please uh, share your feedback in comment section and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.